Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So you guys know that we had our baby. I shared our birth story a couple weeks ago. And then I had a video showing you guys our new property. So there's been a lot of new things going on around here. With a newborn, it's been pretty quiet over here for the past couple of weeks, pretty much after I have a baby. I like to just spend a couple weeks just healing and he has the hiccups and they're so loud and so cute. I remember when he had them when I was pregnant with him and it's my favorite, like seeing the things he does now, like I'll like pat his butt and his little foot will kind of do I'm like, oh, that was that foot I felt when he was inside of me. It's just so fun. But anyway, I like to spend just a couple of weeks just really allowing my body to recover and rest. Just I know the more kids I have too, it's just really important for that. Even though his birth was so, so easy. Thank you, buddy. You gave mommy a nice easy birth that I felt completely fine. Just like right after giving birth, I felt like I could go to the store or go on a run or anything because I just felt totally, totally normal. But in fact, I felt better because I now didn't have a nine pound baby inside of me and it just felt really good. But I know that it's really important to allow like everything to get back in place and to really relax, and keep it easy. So I've been limiting um, the amount of times like going up and down the stairs, um, not lifting anything, like even my toddler for two weeks. We have a little stool here on the side of the bed so we can get up and out of bed to come and like see me and the baby. But basically, Jacob and I have been just laying low, laying in here. It's been super nice having a summer baby because I have been able to venture outside and just sit under a shade tree and watch the kids play and just be really involved still with the kids without having to really do anything and just like sit there and enjoy um, the fresh air. So that's been nice. I've had two January babies, a December baby, and a November baby, and I had one in May, and I remember that May baby being so nice too because I could get outside. Um, towards the end of my two weeks, I do start to feel a little stir crazy because I haven't really left the house at all. I haven't gotten out of bed much, but I know that that time is so important. I just love it, bonding with my baby. We are extremely blessed to have so much help with our kids. So my mom and Nathan's mom have taken the kids some. My sister um, picked them up and brought them to play group one of the days. So it's just nice to have help with the kids. And also between our family and our church and friends, we've gotten so many meals brought to us. So I haven't had a cook like at all since he's been born which has been really nice too for my husband, especially because, you know, that gives him one less thing that he has to do while he's trying to kind of take care of the other kids while I am healing. So it's kind of a recap of what we've been doing today. I got dressed and little Jacob has a onesie on. Um, for the first couple of weeks, we pretty much just do skin to skin. So there's no clothes on the baby. I pretty much lay here and just like nurse and have him up against my chest and skin to skin. So he got to put on a onesie this morning when daughter has been so excited to get him dressed. And I don't know how we just picked a plain white onesie. She's been like so excited and that's what he got put in. But <laughs> either way, he has some clothes on and I'm gonna put them in my um, baby wrap for the first time today and I'm going to actually cook a little meal. My kids are here right now. You might hear them. They're like right outside the window playing on the swing set, but they are going to be um, going somewhere today with my sister. And so I'm going to be making lunch for just Nathan and I. It'll just be us here and the toddler and the baby, but um, the big kids are all gonna be going somewhere today. So I was gonna make something for us for lunch, which will be the first time that I'm cooking since he's been born. And I'm gonna just kind of take you along and show you guys what I'm making and then just wanted to give you a little update on how we're doing.
All right, guys, so for my first time back in the kitchen making a meal after having little sweet Jacob, I am gonna be using my By Deem food steamer. So I recently got this and we tried it out um, a few days ago just to like steam some rice just to see like how it all worked and put it together. And we are pretty excited about this new little product here. So this is a like multi-function food steamer. It doesn't just steam your food, but you can also use it for a yogurt maker, which I love. I make a lot of homemade yogurt in my house, so I like that you can make yogurt with it. You can also make baby food with it, which will probably be something that I'll be trying Obviously not anytime soon, but maybe in the next year or so, we'll be making some baby food in here. Um, there's a lot of different things that this thing can do, and I really like it because it is really cute. I like the color that it is. So today I'm gonna be making some rice in here, and I'm also gonna be steaming up some tilapia, and I have a really fun, like, Parmesan tomato like topping that I'm gonna put on top of it. Kind of a little bit of a fancier meal, if you will, just because I haven't cooked yet and I'm excited to like make something for just my husband and I. Like I said, the big kids are gonna be gone today, so maybe when the little ones are napping, I can, we can have like a little in-home date day. So for this, the first thing you do is you have to fill it with some water. Now there are little water inlets here that you can pour it into if you have like a pitcher. I just have a mason jar, so I'm just gonna pour it straight in here, but that's nice if you already have the steaming rack on here, then you don't have to like open it all up. But I'm just gonna pour it here right on the side because I just have this. And there's a max fill line, so you know where to fill it to. And then I'm using these little stew pots here to make my rice in. So they are just little glass containers. I really like this because everything is either glass, stainless steel, and then all the plastic that's with it is BPA free. So I find it to be a healthy option for cooking. So I'm gonna pour just a cup of rice in here with um, some water. Actually, I think it was, yeah, a cup of rice. So I'm gonna do a, two cups of water. Um, this is not for my whole family, so I'm just gonna be making a smaller amount. Um, there are two of these, so if I was making it for the whole family, I would definitely be making more rice. And so I'm just gonna put the lid on there, and then I'm just gonna put this on here, and I'm gonna turn it on to the rice steaming, which I love this because here in the front, it tells you the amount of times that you need each thing for um, and how to do it, so there's like instruction straight on here, which is really nice. All right, so while the rice is steaming, I'm going to chop up some parsley and some tomatoes and lemon. I'm making a little like Parmesan with Dijon mustard sauce that's gonna go on top of our tilapia whenever it's finished. I'm just gonna make this and then I will get the fish going. We're also gonna make that in the steamer and the fish only takes about 10 minutes. So, and the rice takes about 40 minutes. I'm gonna let the rice go for a while and then I will add my fish to the steamer. Okay, so another thing that I really like about this steamer, even though it's not just a steamer, like I said, it's a yogurt maker, you can also do slow cooking in it, but it has this double tier rack so you can cook multiple things at a time. So now that the rice only has 15 minutes, apparently I overflowed it because that's coming up, but that's fine. Um, the rice only has 15 minutes left, so I'm gonna go ahead and start my fish. I can just add this extra tier on here the steaming rack, and then it came with this little porcelain plate that you can cook on too, so I'm gonna put that on there, and I'm just going to add my tilapia 
to the plate and the different seasonings. And then I'm gonna let that steam at the same time as the 15 minutes left in the rice so it's all done at the same time. Now with this double steaming rack, it doesn't mess up the flavor of anything else. Now obviously with fish and rice, it all goes together anyway, so it's fine. But if you're steaming something on the bottom that you don't wanna mix with the flavor from the top, then um, it doesn't mix together, which is super nice. The Bideem steamer starts producing steam just a minute after turning it on so it can make quick and healthy meals, which is definitely something that I am looking for this postpartum season. If you are wanting a steamer, you can check out the link in my description box below. Bideem is offering my subscribers here on YouTube a discount code, so all of that information is down in the description box for you. They're also running a campaign right now where you can actually win a free steamer, so that information is also down in the description box for you. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed just this little update on me and baby Jacob. We're both just feeling so well, and I wanna thank you guys for all of your thoughts, prayers, congratulations, just everything. Like we've gotten so much love and support and it's been really fun. I've read through probably every single comment on my birth story. I just love reading all those and I also like reading all the different stories that you guys had similar and also just way different. So I've enjoyed reading all those. But now that he is a little bit older, it's time to start getting back into the swing of things. And even though I absolutely love this time of like just quiet and peace and stillness with a newborn, I also get really excited just to get back into the swing of things and start feeling, you know, I'm, I'm excited to start like cooking in for my family and being able to be more involved with my other children and all those things. So after, to close out the city, I wanna share just some clips throughout the last couple of weeks with a newborn. I had so many plans of filming more of the birth and just the kids' reactions when they came in. Like I said in my birth video, I had planned that my daughter would be in there and announce that it was a boy and just nothing goes exactly as planned. And like the birth was perfect, but it didn't go as it played out in my head. My One of my nieces wanted to be here and she had like visioned waiting with Caroline and like being so excited to come in to see the baby for the first time and she'd asked me prior to the birth if it was okay if she came over because she knew that her mom would be here and I was told her yes but it just was so quick it was in the middle of the night which um, you know you might picture it at a different time but everything just goes differently but I'm super thankful for how it went so since I didn't get to share some of those clips in the birth story I just kind of wanted to end this video showing you guys a few clips from the last couple of weeks with our new baby. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.